Kioma Victoria from Enugu State, Raphael from Port Accord, you are welcome. Glory to God in the highest. Sandra from Port Accord, you are welcome. Please, Rob Ananda, Glory from France, you are welcome. Josephine from Ivory Coast, you are welcome. It is never too late for God to command a turnaround. I need somebody who can say that boldly. It is never too late. While you are worshipping God, while you are thanking Him for this altar of mercy tonight, keep saying to yourself, it's never too late. Jen from Port Harcourt, Dwanem from Abuja. I've been in Abuja preaching for the amazing uh, uh, Sam Oye. I'll be done today. I'll be doing tomorrow again. So you can join me in Abuja. Uzezi from Wari. It is never too late for God to command a turn around. Shade from Igruta. Daniel from Port Harcourt. I want you to please know that. You can type it by yourself. While you are thanking him, keep declaring that. It is never too late. You know, a woman in declaring that encountered her miracle. You know, they came to Jesus when he arrived at the tomb of Lazarus. And, uh, uh, oh, Jagaban, uh, connecting from India, you are welcome tonight. Glory to God. Uh, it is never too late. This lady, the sisters of uh, uh, Kaluba from SARS, you are welcome. Tina here from Port Harcourt, you are welcome. These uh, sisters of uh, Lazarus came to meet with Jesus. And while they were talking with him, their emphasis was, if you have been here four days ago, my brother will not have died. That's what Martha was saying to Jesus. I wish you were here four days ago. She had a faith of four days ago. You know, there are people that have a faith of Bible days and a faith of the 1970s when God was walking on the streets and doing miracles and everybody was righteous and holy and everything was well packaged in the church. They have a faith of the past. But listen to me. Listen, if you can believe in the Jesus that walked on the water and you can't believe in the Jesus that's the same yesterday, today and forever, something is very wrong with your faith. If you have been here four days ago, my brother will not have died. And Jesus said, your brother will rise again. And then she fast forward her faith. He said, I understand. He will rise again on the last day. So she had the faith for four days ago. Now she has the faith for the last day. What of the faith for today? She didn't have. She walked away. And Jesus said, when the other sister confronted him, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Michael from Edo, you are welcome. He that believeth in me, even if he were dead, yet shall he rise again in the now. And he confronted. He said, do you believe this? Esther, from my degree, you are welcome. He said, do you believe this? You had the faith for yesterday, four days ago. You have the faith for the last day when he will rise again. But I am in the present tense. Karen from Lagos, you are welcome. I am the resurrection and the life. If any man believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he rise again. Do you believe it? But you know, uh, when Mary spoke to Jesus, he said to Jesus, if you have been here, I understand. Four days ago, my brother will have risen. Everything from Lagos will come. If you're here four days ago, my brother will have risen. Oh, Ken from India. Apostle Ken, you're welcome. God bless you. Uh, if you were here four days ago, my brother will have risen. But, but, but even now, whatever you will ask the father, he will give it to you. He said, I have a faith for four days ago. I have a faith for the last day. But I have a faith for even now. It's never too late for God to command the turn around. It's never too late. You lost your job. It's never too late. Chancellor from London, you are welcome. It's never too late. No matter what the devil has done. She's about from Jalingo. You are welcome. Uh, Onyechi from Port Harcourt, you're welcome. He gave from Port Harcourt, you're welcome. It's never too late. You had the faith for yesterday. 
You have a faith for the future. You can have a faith for the now. The God that turned water into wine yesterday. And the God that's going to raise the dead in the future is still the same God now. Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's never too late for God to command a turnaround. Zena from Holland, you are welcome. Maande Koshakata. Iprokoze ingatala ikakaparakatia. Me and Balataha, we are serving a God who is not just, you know, a, a, a powerful, but you see, he said, I will restore to you the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, uh, and the canker worm has taken away from you. I restore years. I am outside of the confines of time. I even rule eternity. So I can tinker with time and tamper with time and restore time. So you lost years. Wow. But there's a God who lives outside of time. You, 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 messed, you, you messed up a season. Oh yeah. But there's a God who changes times and seasons and who restores life. It's never too late for God to command the turnaround. Where you are right now, can we thank him for that word and begin to walk into that word. Makadeko shakataha e prozoko mindike bolata e kangangongo rakanti kokapa e dregiyam buroko to rakashata e lebeto ikinda kakopoto ya lingagrato oyombonti inkan Kankaha, Hele Balata, Kopoto, 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 Lakata Kata, Bing Breketo, Rabashan, Grekete, Reboskia, Lanka Guruku, Lanka Guruku, Liki Kakanka, Mambrogoto, Rabasha Katikaka, Bebroto, Bebroto, Liki Kakakata, Ebrazakata, Laboshi, Kirkete, Reboski, Rakababa, Maka, Krekete, Reboski, Rakataha, Mikogum, Bandala, Kabra, in Krekete, Lidoskia. Make a kapara, begin to worship him. Adere me from Lagos, you are welcome. Nefchuta from Birmingham, you are welcome. Go ahead and celebrate Jesus everywhere you are. It's never too late for God to command the turnaround. Ibironke from Canada, Chison from the UK, you are welcome. It's never too late. It's never too late. Makabeto, liki kakaka, le embraka to reboskia, jikare ketrehia. They say they want to deport you. It's never too late for God to command the turnaround. They say the judge has pronounced the divorce. It's never too late for God to command the turnaround. The doctor said it's stage four cancer, it's never too late for God to command the turnaround. Magabeto ikakaya kojekia brasoto ibende inkankon kata, migagreke kurakajaka kia kaka Ma ambrokoze, ilangakaka, hetrobosoto, lika kreketia, baka brokotoya, jika krakatia, bala brokosiki, rika prose king talabasa. I don't forget the man. Uh, that had a stroke. And uh, I walked into the place. Amanda from Manchester, you're welcome. I walked into the place. And uh, <laughs> I prayed with him. The prayer I prayed that moment was he wouldn't die. I didn't know how bad the stroke was, but we know he had a stroke. And then the doctors did a scan and they said, oh, uh, there is blood in the brain and the blood is gathering and pressing on the brain and that uh, they need to run uh, an intervention very quickly and do a surgery and they were prepping for the surgery came from the UK Cynthia from Lagos you're welcome they were preparing for the surgery and the wife was scared. And I was bothered. And this guy, uh, the devil was making it look like he wasn't going to make it. I said, okay, let's just pray. And it dawned on me. What are you talking about? That the God that can raise the dead, 
The God that caused the things that be not as though they are. It's just a blood issue in the brain. After a stroke, it can't take away. So why are we even considering the issue of the blood on the brain that is pressing on that about him dying and not dying and the surgery? Why don't we talk about the reversing of the stroke? When those on Gateway had his testimony, we prayed, we walked away, they were talking, preparing for the surgery. They took him again to come and do a test on the brain to know what and what to do. And then they ran whatever they said. There was no blood on the brain. Not just that. They suddenly found out every part of the body that was having issues have reversed. God didn't just help him have a surgery. They were focusing on the surgery. And I was focusing on the surgery. And if you let him not die in the surgery, let's see how it can And No, the God that can help him survive the surgery is the one with whom nothing is impossible. He can reverse the situation altogether. They didn't need the surgery. He didn't have stroke anymore. Totally recovered. Totally made well. Why? It's never too late for God to command a turnaround. Now, the testimony, some of the listeners may never believe. I don't bother my head, but those in Gateway had a young man give his testimony. He came to me and he said, Pastor, I'm not going to be able to graduate with my meds in school. I don't want to mention the university. He said, I'm not going to be able to graduate, but it's one of the universities in River State. He said, I'm not going to be able to graduate with them. Because they're looking for this course, they're looking for the other course, and all of that. And even if I graduate with them, uh, I'm going to come out with a third class. He said, but pastor, I don't want to pay another school fees. My parents can't afford that. The reason I'm having a third class level something is because I have to be running up and down, out of school, trying to do this and do that to make ends meet. And every time I'm distracted. So I've done my best. Please pray that as I get back to the lecturers and I talk to them, they're going to find my scripts. Even if it's just let my people go, let me graduate. I can't afford one more year. That's all he asked for. Brothers and sisters, that's all he asked for. I laid hands on his head. I didn't think about any miracle other than let him graduate. I lay hands on him and say, let God show you mercy. I didn't know that the mercy of God can be multifaceted. I didn't know that the mercy of God can go beyond what a man can imagine. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above what we can ask or think according to his power that works in us. Those in gateway had him testify. Go, the Lord show you mercy. You will graduate with your mates. And he left. And they were searching for his papers. And they went through the system in the school. Number one, they found all his papers. Number two, all the results he had from year one had been up upgraded. Who upgraded it? I don't know. What malfunction happened? I don't know. But not only did he graduate with his mates, Everything about him was upgraded. He came out one of those on top of the class. What happened? I don't know. Is it a freak accident? I don't know. Who upgraded it? I don't know. Who walked on the system? I don't know. Between the night he came and about three days later, he was a student of this student. What's the issue? Jehovah overdue. It's never too late for God to command a turnaround. When people give testimonies of others, say it's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie. Let it be a lie to you, but let it be a reality to the one that God touched. The person I'm talking about may be online now, he can even defend himself. Let it be that God stepped in for you. I speak over you today. Jateke Parakatia. If you are going to type it down, type it in capital letters. It's not too late for me. You can type it. It's not too late for me. And where you are hearing me right now, the hand of God is showing you mercy your academics show you mercy for your visa they rejected you first time rejected you second time rejected you third time you can have a turn around 
It, you can have a tongue. I've shared this testimony before. Many of you in Gateway have been repeated again. The people I'm talking about should be online as I'm talking right now. My brother-in-law, the one that married my wife's direct junior sister, wanted to move to the UK permanently. And he went to the embassy right in Lagos. And they denied him visa. I didn't expect him to, them to deny him visa. It never occurred to me that it was possible. And then I'm, I call him in the afternoon. He didn't call me. I'm moving. And I remember, oh, Victor shall come out of embassy right now. So I call him. I said, oh, Vic, how are you? Have you gotten uh, the visa now? And uh, he said, oh, uh, oh, he's done. But, uh, you know, they didn't give him. I didn't think about it. Listen, listen. I, I was on, I, I can't tell you I was walking by faith because I was on autopilot. I didn't think about it. I said, how can they not give you visa? That's the way I talk. It's normal with me. How can I not, how can they not give you visa? I mean, turn back and go back there. They must give you visa. Now, you are talking to somebody who just came out of the embassy. And you say, how can they not give you visa? Turn back and go back there. They must give you visa. Now, if he was walking with the brain of the average person who sees his in law, who doesn't believe in God, and me, I was talking like an autopilot, I didn't think it through. He was in a vehicle in Lagos, going to the airport to come back to Port Harcourt or something. And then he heard my voice. He turned immediately. I said, going back to the embassy. His story, he got to the embassy. He saw a man there. And the man saw him coming. What is this? And all that. The man was attending to other people that were there on the queue and all that. I just said some things to the man about how he came here. And the man said, just stand here. I'll, 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 I'll talk to you after this. So he stood there after the man talked to him. And to the glory of God, this guy took him back inside. Talked to somebody else about him. And he came back the same day they denied him visa. British High Commission. The same day he got back the visa. The same day they denied him visa. The same day he got his visa. Please explain that to me. It's never too late for God to answer you, to give you a turnaround. I've just shared all of this because we're going to pray. Time is running, but somebody's faith is coming alive. It's never too late. Type it in capital letters. It's never too late for me. It's not too late for me. It's not too late for me. I, I will not forget this. If the family is in for here now, they, but I'm going to mention the name. I will never forget. Uh, uh, what, what? I've forgotten her first name, but Coco -co something. I, I, I will never forget her testimony some years ago. She was in church. And I just made a comment. I said, that place we are. It was a prophetic word. I said, somebody hearing me. That place they sacked you on Friday. Resume back on Monday. Go back there. Now, anybody that has a little brain. We say, what is pastor talking about? Does he work in a corporate organization? How can I go back to where they sacked me? But they gave a sack letter on the Friday. She didn't tell me. She didn't come back to me. She had me, in quote, ranting on the pulpit and she got back on Monday, dressed up well and went back to the company. Now she arrived there. Of course, the people in the security knows her. They didn't know she was fired. On Friday evening, they allowed her back into the company without checking for her to clock, uh, you know, all of those security things because already you know her. I know that there are some people that come, you just greet them and say, okay, go back in. You know, asking all kinds of questions. So she went back in and went right back to her office and sat down. Her boss came in, walked through, entered, she greeted the boss. He didn't make a comment as if he forgot. After some time, he came out and all of that. She's sitting down there. And the man gave her an instruction. She went to handle the instruction. The man came back again, gave her an instruction. As if he forget that she was fired on Friday. Brothers and sisters, that same Monday she resumed back at work. 
You, you are asking me whether God can do it. I just give you practical illustrations of testimonies on the altar. It's never too late for God to come and they turn around. I've spoken this long. I don't have all the time in the world. I'm going to close, have a service in the morning, and I don't want to uh, overstretch this night. I want you right now to begin to declare over your life, over that medical situation, over that financial situation, over that marital situation. It's never too late. If you have not shared this, share it right now. Open your mouth and begin to declare that. Somebody lift up your hand and say, My Father, show me mercy tonight. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. My Father, show me mercy tonight. He le go to la manakata he. He ya koko kura katikada. Jaka kakete le bozata. He la kaparakadi he ya. Male broko zakati ante. Go shi krakete le bozaha. Li ya kake tora gide ya kamano kombra hi kata. He ge krakati kakote ya. Jaba la atoro kombra hi ya. Li ge gika kaka kaka ka. Re embroza ki ande le koha. Father show me mercy tonight. He ke koboto la kata kata. He ke koka kara kate ka. Maka breke to rabasa haya. Jika kreke te reboza ta. Milengo to don don din 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 da ha. Maka ko, maka ko, maka ko. Hototo to la tata. Ki an greke to rabasa ha. Le bruzi ante le ko kapa ha. Maka mpe kraposa. Show me mercy tonight. E gabala ta. I stretch my hand toward you. If you can stretch your hand toward me. My umbra, I feel a flow of mercy. Please, if you are in this service tonight, on this altar tonight, and you have not shared this, share it immediately. Tag somebody. Invite a friend. Something supernatural is happening here already. In the few minutes we're going to spend tonight, something will drop on you. Maketo rakaja. He la kake kakapa. Bra in trebusa kati anda. La kokapa rakati kaka. Zimbra kataha. I speak the mercy of God. Somebody with a throat infection. Somebody with a throat infection. I command the mercy of God over your throat. In the very precious name of Jesus. He trebusa katalabasha. Somebody with a thyroid problem. A thyroid problem. A thyroid problem. Makian driboski raka. I command the mercy of God upon you. E tragoshi kakaya kokeperehi. Mangadele kopra in kataraboskia. Somebody help me give the testimony of the reverse stroke. And you say, but my own has been lasting longer. Can God reverse it? And you help me say it's never too late. On the authority of Jesus, let the stroke begin to reverse. Malika kaparakatika boshia. Zingegreke to reboskia. Let the stroke reverse. Let the stroke reverse. Let the stroke reverse. Let the stroke reverse. Somebody shout amen like thunder. Egugata la katikaha. Ja angreke to rabasa kea. Kongregide kegede 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 akata. Ma ambroko tra here. Zanka krakatia. Something is walking out of somebody's ear right now. Something is walking out of somebody's ear right now. But not just spiritually. Physically, when you wake up in the morning, you're going to see a, 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 a mark on your bed. As if something came out of your ear and poured on the bed. And whatever was wrong with your ear is dying immediately and never returning again. Akara boshi katia kapa. 
Menka prakete ya, zakiyan krekete he, le gabara kate kako he, jabroko zo kapara ete he ya, ma angreke to rabasa ha, jike ya kopere idraki ya, kampara kate ya, ma greke te reboski ya, there's a female pastor whose leg and knee is always giving problem, there's a female pastor, your leg and knee is always giving problem, I speak on the authority of Jesus, right now let there be healing, idrobose kiyan kakapara, Rataha, Jikayato Bele Trapia, Kado Gobo Rokotia Kataha, Jika Broko Sekentele Kabataha, Makianto, 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 Obra in Talaboskia. There's a mother here. Your son is having a strange illness that has caused the stomach to come out. I don't know who you are, but in the authority of Jesus, whatever is causing the problem on his stomach, let the hand of God handle it. Let the power of God break it. Let the hand of the enemy be reversed right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of darkness. I cut off the work of wickedness. I speak the life of God. He toko ejeke ibata atoko ima Nekotaha, la greto ikimba to kataha, credo ya jambalo brokotia, e la coco corocoto kiata, bake kako corocoto kotiata, be brosia cantre hino ha shantaha, me le brosa katiatu, le gigaga karakati kata, prasoko pile ente on don don di inkankankaha, le brosia katahaya, jabego barakatia, the law say comari vassal, comari vassal, the rejection is reversed. The rejection is reversed. Your visa is released. The job rejection is reversed. The job they told you didn't get. You are going to get a letter telling you you got it. Medical reports are being cancelled. It's never too late. The divorce happened three and a half years ago. But in the name that's above every name, not you looking for the man. The man is coming to look for you. Jabeto Rataha. Zakatea, Mekakere Kutrabasa, Lego Baraketahia, Jika Krekete Reboskia. Somebody you have not seen your children for a long time right now because of a crisis situation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke the power of hell at work. I turn it around in your favor. Magabrosekia, Karakatekaha, Jika Kreketia, Magabrosek Yantalabose. Make a caparato, Jika Kreketia, Lego Bra Intehe, Linka Kakakaha, Baka Prokotra here, Zika Kreketia, Jika Kreketia, Maka Barataha. There is a woman crying out right now for somebody connected, related to you, who is about to be thrown into jail for a crime that actually happened. There is a woman crying out right now for somebody related to you, who is about to be thrown into jail for something that happened. And you are there saying to God, please intervene. Please intervene. Makiande Koja, Likareko Brahia, Zakaboto Indihia, Mononindindin Kankankaha, Jibro Gazia. I bring the mercy of God to you. 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 He toka badaya kojetia. Imbale krobo de le kaparakata. Pe krobo zontiataha. Yenge peshaha. Let that issue be taken out of the way. Let their lives be spared. Let their destinies be restored to the praise and glory of the Lord in the precious name of Jesus. Everywhere you are listening to me, those listening by radio, those listening by live TV, and those of you on social media, I want to say thank you. When we say radio, we don't mean just the internet radio. There's some of you that listen by FM radio right now. I want to say thank you for connecting tonight. Now you can't see me. I am not on my page, but you are hearing my voice. This is the altar of mercy. My name is George Izuma. I'm the lead pastor of Gateway International Church in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I come to you every night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. 
and I come marketing just one thing, the mercy of God. He said to me from Romans chapter 9, 15 and 16, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy. I have compassion on whom I have compassion. So then it's not to him that will it or to him that run it. It's unto God that shows mercy. I want you to know out of this altar, you are getting the mercy of God. Edmond, he said, we greet you from Oklahoma. Thank you for coming in. Glory to God. Jatele Kabaraka Traboskia. Engego Baraka Tika Koboskia. Everywhere you are hearing me right now, let the mercy of God look at you in the precious, amazing name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout Amen. Now, tonight, in a few minutes, I'm going to take you through communion. This is our, our week of International Open Doors. I'm going to pray one or two prayers concerning those of you that are looking for visa, looking for resident permit, looking for citizenship, looking for uh, COS or COT or whatever they call it in your country, and uh, you are looking for sponsorship of diverse kinds and all of that, and you are looking for jobs in different nations, and you're looking to work online and work remote or whatever and work uh, 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 in different phases of the economy, I want you to know in the name of Jesus, this is the week for you. As we pray and take communion right now, the Lord establish it for you in the precious name of Jesus. So please get a little biscuit and a little wine and get set for the communion experience in a few minutes. Get a little bread or a little wine and get uh, and a little wine and get ready for the communion experience. Like I said, I'm not planning to take this to 12. I'm just going to pray with you in a few as the Lord allows, unless uh, something else happens, I will just keep going on. So I want you to please be part of this. Let the hand of Jesus touch you. Let the glory of God reach you. Now, if you have not shared this, you are doing the wrong thing. Those on the radio, please go to uh, Pastor George Izuma on Facebook, Pastor George Izuma on YouTube, and uh, George Izuma on Instagram. Just search me out right now and please... Uh, any one of them you see that is uh, maybe 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 followers, you know it can't be me now and all that. So please, you, you check and see that you, you have a, a large following on there and then you know that it's me because people go clone things and they write names funny and then you just uh, think that it's the right place and then you go there to uh, uh, subscribe. No, be sure it's the right one. And if you go right as I'm talking, you see us live. So you know this is the right one. Glory to God. So please get in there and share. Those listening to me by Life Center Network TV, please get in and share. Those of you that are on Facebook, share on YouTube. Those on YouTube, share on Facebook and share on Instagram. Everybody just cross share. Let's see that more people get this in the morning as they wake up. And the power of God will begin to move in their lives in the name of jesus uh, oh somebody next sebo he said we are blessed with when you came to love church in oklahoma thank you very much the lord honor you mightily and i'm hoping to be there again uh, very soon <laughs> glory to god now i want every one of you uh to please understand as you share this, you have a share in this assignment. The presence of God reach you where you are. When you connect, you share, you collect. But again, if you have got a miracle out of this altar, go ahead and tell the testimony. The Bible makes it clear to us that when we come to God with thanksgiving, God comes with a blessing. The ransom of the Lord shall return with joy. They will come with thanksgiving to Zion and then they will obtain joy and gladness. So you return with joy, you obtain more. Okay? You say thank you. God says take more. That's the principle we operate by. And I want you to give a testimony. Now I want you to please know. I want you to please know. Somebody say we are blessed when you came to our 20 years anniversary. MGM Warriors, I was there with you. Move of God Mission in Worry last week. Uh, Thursday and Friday, and I'm proud of your church. God bless you. Amazing work your pastor is doing. Okay, now let's uh, move. It's important, every one of you,
to understand that as you give your testimony, God begins to command new doors to open. So please, if you have a testimony, send it to pastorgateway at yahoo.com. Pastorgateway at yahoo.com. Pastorgateway at yahoo.com. I want to hear you. George is always my name, but I'm pastoring Gateway Church. And it's easier to remember. Pastor Gateway, one word, at yahoo.com. I want you to send us and if, if you have a prayer request and you want to send it, there are no challenge. I'll read it, and if I can't, I'll reply. Uh, if I can't, my assistants will handle that and get to you. Uh, but any one of you also that cannot send uh, an email, use WhatsApp. Whether if you're outside Nigeria, plus 234. If you're in Nigeria, 0702 5000950. 0702. Five zero 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 nine five zero. Okay, you use that and you trust the Lord. I'm going to see the hand of God come mightily upon you and begin to bless you and begin to turn your life around. Okay, as you honor Him, please everywhere you are, send me your testimonies. Now, uh, when it was, I say send testimony, please, please, please send a testimony. <laughs> I saw one voice note today. I may even play it for you now to tell you, as I'm going to describe uh, what I, you see, the person gave a testimony, but it was so short, and maybe because I said, make it short, but I want you to give your name, I want you to give the city you are coming from, and then give a little detail of the testimony. The person was actually doing an advertisement for me, instead of fully explaining what God did for him, I mean, I think I'm going to find it and play it for you because I, you know, those of you that hang around me know I like fun a lot and I like, uh, I like making jokes a lot. So let me find it for you so that you can know. I enjoyed the testimony of the man, but I told myself, I said, you have told us the full story. And uh, instead of doing PR for me, look at the testimony. Where is it? Good morning, sir. Mm -hmm. My name is Anubi Stephen, Chukamaka. From the chair, on the last program, on the day you asked us to use water and the oil, Mr. Rea to, to drink, a growth was growing in my part of my body in a sensitive area that is not meant to see. God used that night, after that night, the growth disappeared. I want to testify so that everyone can hear what God is doing in the what God is using you to do, so that others, others too can have the faith that God. Is in great in great way church. God bless you, sir. May God strengthen you more as the miracle continue in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> it's a beautiful testimony. Okay. He had a growth. He said in a sensitive part of his body where people are not supposed to see. So for a man, I guess it should be his private part or whatever. And then I said, Okay, uh, take the water, put the oil on it, and then uh, drink it. And the hand of God is going to touch you. And he, he went ahead and did that. And the growth disappeared. He didn't tell us how long the growth has lasted. He didn't uh, give us any details of anything he has done about it. But of course, he went on to tell you, you, be the, you better believe that God will do your own. I like that. But I, I, it was direct to the point anyway. But I want you to know that I want to give more details. And let God be honored. If you want to send it as a video, go ahead and send it. And uh, we're going to be honored to receive your own. I'm going to pray for you. It's 11.40. That's in Nigeria now. And I want you to know that as I pray for you right now, God is going to open that door. Look at Acts chapter 1 verse 8. But you shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Okay, before I continue, uh, those of you that are sending by WhatsApp, please, it is 0702 5000950. 0702-5000950. Okay? I want to have the testimony immediately. And I know many of you have not shared your testimony. is because when we are rushing for time, we just go full blast. I'd rather minister 
and then you share in the church when you come around. So let's go. Okay. Uh, Acts chapter 1 verse 8. He says you shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem and in all Judea. And in Samaria. And unto the uttermost parts of earth. Jesus is talking to fishermen. And he's telling them. That you are connecting to me. Uh, as my spirit comes upon you. As my life is infused in you. As my breath entered you. As my glory rests upon you. He said. You will carry the evidence. A witness is one that bears evidence. He said you will carry my evidence. The evidence of what I have done in your life. What I have done in the lives of others. I am going to take it to the nations of the world. Okay. He said. You are a fisherman Peter. He said yes. He said can you imagine yourself in India. I'm sure you know that these guys actually carry that out. Thomas died in India. You know, Bro Tom? <laughs> the one you are always complaining about, Brother Tom. The one that looks as though uh, uh, he was a doubting guy. He died in India. I mean, Peter declared he got as far as Rome, but somehow or another, he got to Europe. You're talking about all kinds of these guys that went from that small fishing pond in Galilee. And Jesus took them illiterate, uncultured. In fact, when they were interviewing Peter and John, the, the Bible said, when they saw their boldness, and they understood that they were Greek causing agramatos idiotes, that means... <laughs> Uh, stupid idiots, untaught idiots, un, un, uncultured idiots. That's what they say they were, agramatous idiots, uncultured idiots. And they knew they had been with Jesus. So these guys are uncultured idiots. And they were bold in Christ. Jesus said, when you, my spirit comes upon you, no nation will deny you visa. Nobody will say no to you. You will go to the uttermost parts of the earth, bearing my imprint, bearing a witness to my power, my life, my grace, my righteousness, my holiness, everything. And somebody is hearing me right now. Every nation of the world will accept you. You will be a witness to God everywhere you are found. Like there are some of you who are right, trying to run away, who have no God content in your journey. You don't even plan to go to church when you get there. To talk of preaching Jesus when you get there. You don't have to start a church. But at least you should be part of the revival that God is carrying. Oh, classic. I didn't know your full name. It's I'm a strong believer of the power of the altar of mercy. After the July vigil, I got my COS and currently in Scotland. God bless you. Please, can you send a full testimony of that so we can share it with God's people? I'm seeing testimonies popping up all around, but I can't keep distracting myself. I told you I was going to start early now. It's 11.45. And I need to be in church early tomorrow. Okay, now, please, I need you to understand. Access will be granted you. The nations will hear you. You will not be left without a testimony. You will not be left without evidence. The doors are open everywhere. The hand of God is reaching you everywhere. Pastor Debbie from Cameroon, thank you for coming in. I've been in Cameroon with you guys on Tuesday. And I'm trusting the Lord for a miracle over there. I, I, I want you guys to know, in the authority of Jesus, everywhere, Science and wonders that a Christian cannot be illegal in any nation under heaven. And listen to me, access is granted, right of way is released, the blessing is commanded in the name of Jesus Christ. Where you are right now, I want you to prepare your coming in. I won't be able to continue beyond this. I want you to know those of you that are musicians, the nations will hear you. Those of you that are actors, actresses, the nations will open their doors to you. Businessmen who are setting up companies and businesses across Africa and around the world, the nations must give you access. 
pastors, preachers, platforms of glory across the nations are opening to you in the precious name of Jesus. Everywhere you are, something supernatural will happen as we take this communion right now. Now, but if you are hearing me, he said, you'll be my witness. So you are going to be a witness that the power of God worked for you in the precious name of Jesus. Now, here it is. If you are not yet born again, I desire that you surrender your life to Jesus. Allow him to take over your life. Allow him to rule in your destiny. Please give him that chance. Give him that honor. Give him that place in your heart today. And start with that. You want to travel, start with Jesus. Start with being his own. And please go to your church. Go to training. Go to discipleship class. Prepare yourself to be useful in the hand of God wherever you go to. So that God can see your passion for him and command help for you. Okay. I want to trust God that the new season is open to you. Those who are giving their life to Jesus, pray with me. I say, Father, I come to you. I am sorry. The life I believe they sin. Forgive me. Jesus, I believe you are the son of God and you died for me. Please take over my life and make me a new person. I will serve you the rest of my days. Amen. If you pray that prayer, I believe he heard you. And I speak over you today. The every power of darkness over your life is broken. The hand of hell, the hand of wickedness is cut off. The glory of God rests upon you right now. In the precious name of Jesus. Please, if you pray that prayer, send me a message on pastorgateway at yahoo.com. My name is Sosa and So. This is my email. This is my phone number. This is the city I am in. Please, I just gave my life to Jesus. I'm going to ask my team to reach you. You don't have to join Gateway, but we want to disciple you online. Born to away is not right. I want you to get born again, and I want you to be discipled. Somebody will talk to you and guide you on how to take your next steps in the faith. And then from there, your journey can continue whichever nation you are in. So please connect to us on that immediately. Glory to God in the highest. And I want you to please listen also. Please listen. It's time to take the communion. Now, everywhere you are, we're going to first break the bread and then eat it. As you eat it, your body is healed. Your mind is healed. Your relationships are healed. Your finances are healed. Every area, the Lord touch it. Then after that, you're going to take a little bit of it and drop on the floor where you are. And then pull your shoe and stand barefooted there while I make declarations. You can lift up your passport. You can lift up your CV. You can lift up anything that's a point of contact to your business and your career. Anything that you want the world to hear. Anything that you want the impact to be felt. And then something is going to happen right now. Are you set? If you have not shared this, please share it right now. Jesus is Lord. Father, I ask today that by the breaking of this bread, every one of them will encounter a new life in you. In the precious name of Jesus. In John chapter 6 verse 57, you say, Jesus... That the living Father has sent you, and you live by the Father. Even we that eat you, we live by you. Lord, let them draw life and power and support and sponsorship from you. Let anointing enter them by this communion. May they live by you. May they be powered by your grace and glory. In the precious name of Jesus, let sicknesses go. Financial crises die. Confusion of diverse kinds be broken. Jesus be Lord over your life, over your situation. In the precious, amazing name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear your amen? Now break the bread. Take the wine. Can you take a little of it? Mark your forehead in the name of the Lord. Take it, mark your forehead in the name of the Lord. Now while you are holding it, pour a little on the floor. Pick up your passport. Hold it up, your CV, whatever you use as a point of contact to this encounter. Stand barefooted where you are. 
I mean, to call the city where you're coming to, the company, the businesses, the platforms, and command that they open to you right now. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Open your mouth and make declarations. Go ahead. This is the moment. This is the moment. If your voice is not lifted, if your voice is not heard, your answer will not be coming. Say exactly what you want to see. There are platforms that must open. There are connections that God is bringing in. The opportunities for manifestation that is coming in right now. Go ahead and begin to amplify them. Let the hand of God be there. Father, I pray over them. Let the visa be granted. I pray over them. Let the COS come in. Let the reason permit be given. I pray over them. Let the citizenship come. Let the work permit be commanded. In the precious name of Jesus. I come against deportation, immigration cases. I bind that in the name of Jesus. Show them mercy. Lord, I command access to huge companies, corporations, businesses around the nations of the world. Nobody is permitted to do them wrong. In the precious name of Jesus, I command well to flow across nations. Men and women ending in diverse foreign currencies. I command business, career platforms to open. People that are winning Grammy Awards. People that are winning uh, all kinds of music awards. In the name of Jesus. People that are winning Oscars everywhere around the nations. I command that your voice in comedy, your voice in music, your voice in every of the acts is amplified right now and blown across nations. Social media followership in tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, tens of millions in the precious name of Jesus. I command that everything begin to enlarge for you. I command platforms of ministry beyond what you imagine. Platforms of business, connections with key leaders. In the name of Jesus, you have been thinking of meeting Zuckerberg, uh, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, all kinds of great people in business. Your time is now. You are thinking of having access to governors and presidents. Your time is now. Let the nations open to you. In the precious name of Jesus, you are thinking of having mentors that are across nations. Your time is now. You are thinking of mentoring people across nations. Your time is now. I command the favor of God to follow you. The blessing of God rest upon you. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Well, those of you that are in uh, Angola, good news, I'll be within two weeks' time, Tuesday and Wednesday of the next two weeks. So, I'm asking you to get set for that and see me in Luanda, and we're going to have a beautiful time. So, please send text messages to your friends and tell them, this guy you've been watching online will be in Angola with us in a few days' time, and we're going to have a, br a brief meeting, just two nights. And then I'm back to Nigeria. So please get set and let's have a good, good, enjoyable time in God. Glory to God. Abuja people, please meet me tomorrow at TTC, the Transforming Church, where the amazing Sam Oye is the lead pastor. We're going to have a beautiful time again in the morning. And it's a lineup of greatness, so please be there. Glory to God. Now, everywhere you, are, you want to give God an offering, uh, there are two offerings we normally give on this platform. You can give to the church and you can give to the man of God or you can do both. Okay, now if you are giving to the church, uh, look at what to do. Those of you on uh, YouTube, look at the chat window. You see a dollar pound sign or whatever. You can use a token to give from any nation in the world where you are. And the hand of God will reach you in Jesus. And just click it and follow the uh, pattern, okay? If you're in the U.S., you can sell to us mygatewayseed at gmail.com. Mygatewayseed at gmail.com. Those of you in Canada, I'm sure you know we have a church in Ontario. Uh, if you don't have the address and information, I'm not speaking from a studio, so there's nothing scrolling now. So please, I'm asking you to send us a message. We'll give you their details and the number of the pastor and all that. Those of you in the UK also, we have a church in Manchester. If you have not attended the church, please be there. Sunday, this Sunday by 10 a.m., their service will be on. 
please join us. Sorry, by 11, is it 10 or 11? Okay, by 11 a.m., the service will be on. Please join them and others. Send us a message. We're going to give you the details so you can reach them also. Now, for those of you in Nigeria, uh, First Bank, 314-517-4083. Three one four five one seven four zero eight three Gateway International Church five one three one four five one seven four zero eight three First Bank Gateway International Church give on that platform. Now, if you want to give a seat to the man of God that blessed you, Echo Bank zero five seven two zero one one seven five three. I don't ask anybody to give to any orphanage. Don't do that. Anybody sending you that is a thief. Don't do that. So, please, those of you working with me, can you post this for them so they can see? George Izumwa Echo Bank, 057-201-1753. George Izumwa. As you give tonight, may the hand of God rest upon you. May the power of his uh, glory be upon you. Oh, uh, good, good. You are in Ontario. Glory to God. Please try and reach Pastor Chris there. I want to see you when I come there in June. Okay. Glory to God. I spread my hand over you. I command the blessing of God upon you. I break the hand of wickedness. I cut off everything attacking your finances. Let the help of God rest upon you. Walk in the beauty of God. You are blessed in Jesus. Amazing name. Amen. Let's have a beautiful night today. And let's see you again by 11 p.m. tomorrow. Ah, next thing, am I coming to Maryland? I am not very sure right now. <laughs> but let's see if God works it out. Have a beautiful day. Please invite others to be here tomorrow. I love you. God bless you. by labor. There are others that rise by favor. There are men that toil their way to the top. There are others the oil of God takes to the top. I am a man helped by God. His oil has lifted me to the top. And today I want to invite you to encounter that God that lifts men. To encounter the God that changes destiny. To encounter a God that answers prayer. To count a God that can make you what you want to be. I want to invite you to meet a God that can never fail. And